All right, guys, <laughs> this will be the last video, I promise. All right, we're gonna try, attempt to put a new tire and uh, inner tube <clears throat> on this electric bike. I got the inner tube a couple days ago, and I'm sorry, the tire and the inner tube a couple days ago. Now that I'm looking at the tire, it's not really much worse for wear. I mean, it is worn down a little bit, but I think the tire is still good. But I'm going to swap it out anyway since I have it, and then I'll use the wore out one for a spare, I guess. So, first thing to do is, um, I guess, take the take the uh, tire off, right? There's one inner tube. So, the inner tube over here. Give us some room. And I've got these little spoons to help me hopefully take this thing off. So. That's off. You know what? I'm going to attempt to just replace the inner tube. <laughs> that way I'll have to take the tire all the way off. And then hopefully that'll be a little easier for me because I don't I haven't done this in a while and I'm just like not really into it. And I think and this is like the front tire, so basically it's not that big of a deal. I probably should have bought a patch kit because <laughs> uh, I'm sure this inner tube is like, it's, it's still holding air. So it must be a really small leak. Still air in there. So let's go ahead and try to, I guess, you know what you could do is probably, probably put duct tape or something in there to keep it keep it from puncturing as easy I don't really see anything sticking out or poking out you know what it's not that hard I'm just gonna pull that off <clears throat> Hopefully I got the right size tire. So, I'm gonna pop the uh, tire on. That was easy. I hope this is the right size. And then I'm gonna Take the valve stem cap off. And then, if you guys can see what I'm doing, raise this up a little bit, maybe. Angle it down. Might be able to see a little better, huh? All right. So, where's the valve stem hole at? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and place the tire inside i mean the tube inside the tire like a so tuck it in there i think the hardest part is to get everything together without pinching the tube when you're putting that's why it's important to have the right tools because if you use a screwdriver it's easy to pinch the tube so these spoons are a little less likely to do that so i'm going to attempt to put the valve stem in the hole of the rim, maybe, and it's a tight fit, okay, then I'm going to put the valve stem cap back on, and then I'm just going to, and this tire is so floppy and loose, it's like, 
I'm wondering if I got the right size. I mean, it's just like flopping all over the place. Not even really having to use any, hardly any force, maybe. Spoke too soon. Take this spoon and kind of pry it on a little bit. I think it's on this side and that's it it's super loose so I'm hoping I didn't I got the right one because it's I mean you can it's not there's hardly any force at all holding this thing together hopefully when the when the tire pumps up I'm gonna use my uh, old handy dandy uh, Bell Air attack 650 maximum 100 psi on this bad boy i got a little extension on here so i should be able to hopefully do this without putting it on the floor so you guys can see what i'm doing maybe lat repair in under 10 minutes this is 20 by 4.0. This is for uh, uh, what electric bike is this? This is the uh, Rad Mini. Sometimes this takes a minute. I'm gonna go all the way up with it, all the way down. That way, it takes less pumps. I pumped a truck tire up with this thing to get me to where I was going, and it actually worked. It just took forever because the <laughs> the air was leaking out. So it is possible to pump up a car tire, but you really don't have as much volume so it takes a lot longer and I don't know what the PSI is on this thing but I think we're getting close we're up to The ballastum's kind of getting crooked, which I don't like. So, I would say inflate to 20 PSI. And we're like it. Ten, maybe? This thing to blow up my face. a little mushy. So like that valve stem sticking sideways like that. But again it's the front tire. It's like fifteen. Yeah, that seems a lot, a lot of pressure for this tire. I should probably read the instructions on the the uh, tube, right? The tire says twenty. What does the tube say? Doesn't say. <laughs> Does it matter? Seems like the tube would be more important than the tire, right? It's actually the, the what's holding the air pressure. No, no PSI. So I guess I'll, does it say on the uh, inner tube somewhere?
No. It says the size, 20 by 3.5, but no PSI. I'm gonna I'm just gonna put like 15 pounds in there. I don't wanna I don't wanna push it. Thing's gonna pop and hit me. Plus it's a front tire. It doesn't require as much it doesn't hold as much weight as the all right, we're we're really close. It's like at uh, let's say about 18. So I'm gonna leave it there. Plus, when I unscrew it, a little bit's gonna come out. And the tube kind of shifted. I probably should take the air out and and. Uh, Re, readjust the tube, but I'm not going to worry about it because I got an extra tube. We'll see what happens. And also, too, it's the front wheel. And also, too, that brake disc is loose. See that? That needs that needs an adjustment as well. It needs tightened up. So I'm going to tighten that up, and then we're going to put this thing together tomorrow. And uh, that was a changeover in less than 10 minutes. So if you have, if you have these spoons and you have an inner tube, you could literally be back on the road within 10 minutes. So I might take that inner tube with me, make a little kit. So that way, if I um, blow a front tire, now the back tire I'm not too sure about because um, there's that's where the motor is. So you might have to disconnect a wire and pull it off. I'm not sure how that hub, I, I didn't take the hub off yet, but uh, as far as the front goes, this uh, uh, Rad Mini, 10 minutes, and you're up and ready. As long as you have all your stuff with you, you can be up and running in 10 minutes. And then if you have some air pressure, air in a can or something, it'd be less time. So anyway, this is Roger, Roger oh, with Roger's Reviews and how to pump a tire up and uh, change out a tube and tire in less than 10 minutes on a Rad Mini or any electric uh, bike front tire. See you later on the next one.